I'm going to go over how to use all the features on the MyPillowPrinter.com pillow design template. First thing I want to do to show you the features is to upload a photo. I'm going to click on the upload photo button in the upper right hand corner, choose a file, I'm going to choose existing. Your, your choose system may be different depending on the browser you're using on the computer, but they're all very similar. Sometimes you don't get to look at pictures, you have to pick file names, but in this case I'm going to pick a uh, cactus blossom uh, from Lauren Node. Uh, appreciate her letting us use this image. Uh, I'm going to upload the image. And while it's uploading, I'm going to read the release that says I have the rights to reproduce this image. Images are copyrighted uh, by the artist, so unless you're the artist or the photographer, it's automatically copyrighted and you need to have permission. So I'm going to click that, and that enables my confirm upload button. I'm going to confirm the upload. It brings in the template. First thing you usually want to do is pick a color for the back side of the pillow. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper. You see a little red line come along the outside of the eyedropper. That means it's active. I'm going to click on an olive green color here in the back. It looks great. And then I'm going to pick a cording material. I'm going to pick suede. And cording is optional. You don't have to purchase cording. Um, but it does make your pillows look really nice. And I'm going to click on the eyedropper again and get that red line. I'm going to pick a yellow. That's a little bright yellow. I'm going to try something a little less bold there. That looks a little better. So I've got an olive background and a yellow cording. And if I want to see this in 3D, so see what it'll look like as a pillow, in the upper left hand side there's a front and back view button and then a round uh, mode button for design and pillow. We've been in design mode. I'm going to switch to pillow mode. You'll see that it models a, three, uh, a 3D model of a pillow. And as you change the fabrics at the bottom, I'll change to satin for example, you'll see that the lighting on the pillow changes and its reflectivity changes according to the type of fabric. So sateen will be a little less uh, shiny and uh, on this pillow I want to use upholstery which is not very shiny at all. And uh, then I'm going to use a uh, micro suede for the back, I'm picking for the back here. And I want this to be a 20 by 20 pillow, I picked the size. And then the insert, I like plyo fiber, but everybody has a different favorite. Um, I can also look at the back of the pillow by using the upper left hand button here to front to back. And the same type of thing, when I change the back uh, fabric, you'll see that it also changes the lighting. It's an actual 3D model being generated, so it models the, uh, the light on the back. But I'm going to go to suede, I like suede. And back to our front view and our design view. Now if I want to increase the size of this I can use the pinch move on a, on a uh, iPad or I can move it around. It also works on an iPhone. Uh, if you have a regular computer you can use the scale button and also use your mouse to move it back and forth. Um, there's a reset button that if you zoomed in and you made some changes you can hit reset and it takes all the settings back to where you started. Now underneath the eyedroppers you'll see that there's a series of numbers there for RGB and those are the color numbers of the backside and the cording. So if you want to make a second pillow and use the same, side, same color on the back and the same cording so you have two matching pillows with just different images on the front, write these numbers down and you can click on those fields and actually enter the numbers um, um, to match it. So if you click on a field like this your keypad will come up on a on a uh, iPad or if you're using a computer just use click on it and just use your keyboard. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can save the design if you'd like. You hit save design, name it, and you can save it. The load design is to load the save designs. An email design will bring up a menu. You can put a name on it and it will email it to your registration address. Make sure you check your uh, spam folder because a lot of times it takes those images um, uh, as spam and uh, you have to pull it out of there but um, the images does get sent uh, to your registration address. And then when you're done you just hit uh, add to cart and you name the piece and I'll call this uh, cactus uh, space bloom and say OK and it'll take me to the cart. And the other nice thing is the cart will also show you the color numbers for the backside and cording and if you decide to change your design on a design, you want to modify it, you can hit change and it'll go back and you can make a modification. And that's it. When you're done, just hit either continue shopping to add another pillow or next and check out.